Today I fucked up by thinking I had the right to pee in peace. This happened last night and I'm still laughing my ass off. Debated making an alt account to post this but you know, sometimes just got to own up to the fuck up. So there I, 20f, was making dinner for my family. I don't cook super often, but sometimes when I'm stressed it's nice to just take a break from what I'm doing and make some tasty pasta, and it's finals season so oh boy I've definitely been stressed. I had just finished all the prep work, and I decided to take a quick pee break before starting on the actual timed cooking. I went to the bathroom, closed the door, and sat down on the toilet. A pee stream begins, and that's when I finally glance down at the floor to see a chunky fucking spider charging directly towards my foot. I'm sure some people would stay calm and composed in this situation but my arachnophobic ass went full panic mode, I jumped straight up off the toilet as chaos descended in that bathroom. And by chaos, I mean my pee. Yup. My fight or flight instincts did not care that I was a grown ass woman with dignity. But even after I stood up. This damn spider wouldn't leave me alone and kept charging. So there I was, screaming my ass off and hopping all over the bathroom to escape Mr. Leggy Boy A, P still going everywhere, dogs barking, the whole rodeo. When I finally compose myself for a split second, I grab a can of air freshener, the only blunt object in my reach, and smack that bitch as hard as I can. Followed by the obligatory double tap just to be safe. All of this happened in a span of probably 10 to 15 seconds, and when it was over I was left only with a shameful mess and the absurdity of it all. In the time I should have spent continuing to make dinner, I had to wipe my own pee off my own goddamn bathroom floor, take a shower, and calm myself down from what almost became a panic attack. But in retrospect I find the whole situation fucking hilarious and I hope some of y'all can also take some enjoyment from my pain. Too long didn't read, a spider charged me while I was peeing and caused me to jump off the toilet and pee all over the floor and myself. Also, just a PS. For any of you who may have a problem with me killing the spider, I agree, and I'm definitely against the pointless killing of animals. But, if you don't have arachnophobia, please take your judgment elsewhere. Trapping and releasing a spider requires a lot more finesse and exposure to the spider than most people are capable of in a fully panicked state, and especially in vulnerable situations like this sometimes killing the spider is the only way to restore peace of mind. It's not a rational thing, that's why it's a phobia. Edit, FML of course this is my most successful reddit post to date haha, I appreciate the solidarity from everyone and it's been a lot of fun reading all of your stories. Thanks for helping turn my horrifying bathroom fiasco into something fun smile. Um guy sat on the toilet about 3 weeks ago and sat directly on a wasp. I peed all down my leg screaming hysterically while my boyfriend charged into our small bathroom thinking I was dying or something. He broke some relationship boundaries that day. Between you and up I can't stop laughing. You poor souls. There's a famous comic artist named Colleen Doran who once told a story about a bat flying into her house. She lives way out in the boonies, but then disappearing when she and her family tried to look for it. Long story short, she went to the bathroom, turned to pull some toilet paper off the roll, and out of the corner of her eye saw something fall from the ceiling. It was the bat, and it fell right in front of her, into her down around her ankles panties, as she said uncomfortably close to my lady bits. At which point she proceeded to shriek in terror, thus causing her dad, uncle, and cousin, all of whom are ex-military or police, and carry guns, to thunder into the bathroom. She said she nearly died of embarrassment. Once I sat down and realized there was a spider in the toilet. The best is when you reach for a towel to dry off from the shower and you see a spider on it as you are wrapping it around yourself. She saw the spider and quietly thought, you're in for trouble now. I took a shower in the dark and when I got in I stepped on something. I watched this black, quarter sized blur wash down the drain in the darkness. I keep telling myself that it was sock fuzz. Just violently clean your foot and take deep breaths, lol. 
Today I fucked up by getting too high to remember what I ordered. Edit 2, like I said previously this happened quite a while ago I do now have my med card and it's legal in my state as of last year so no more paranoid thinking the cops are going to get me. Edit, because apparently some of y'all don't know stoner code or good customer service. I can't say exactly why Pizza Hut resent our order with some cookies but I assume it's because it's our neighborhood store we had ordered from numerous times. Also when I expect Explained what happened the gentleman on the phone thought it was hilarious and said he'd help us out. The cookies were for the embarrassment of admitting we got too high to be people. Woman shrugging, obligatory this happened a while ago but I was reminded of it today. So it's a Friday night, my RM, friend F and I are having a great time. We are smoking, drinking and listening to music. I'm in the middle of hitting the bong and we hear this loud bang, bang, bang. Knock at the door and we are not expecting anyone so I immediately think cops. My RM looks at me and just says nope. We literally get on our hands and knees and start crawling from the living room to the bedroom. We hear another loud knock. F goes into the bathroom and hides. We're panicking. Oh shit. What happened? The neighbors called from the smell. Why are the cops here? Do we just answer? Do we have to? All these whispered questions go on until we realize it's been long enough without another knock. Are we in the clear? I send my RM to crawl back out and check. I'm too scared. She goes sneaking back out to peek out the front window. She yells out it's clear I think and then grabs her phone. The phone reads, 3 missed calls Pizza Hut. F emerges from the bathroom and we all cry laughing when she just slowly turns the phone for us to see our mutual fuck up. We all apparently forgot we ordered pizza. There was in fact no cops and probably one annoyed delivery driver. We called and explained what happened. They sent us a new pizza and some cookies. Too long didn't read, while smoking and hanging out, my friends and I hid from the knocks of the pizza delivery driver think they were the cops coming to bust us. No contact delivery is the way. If you get too high to remember your pizza, worst that happens is you end up with a cold pizza on your doorstep. I used to deliver pizza, there is absolutely nothing implausible in this story. It's a good way to get a weird Pulp Fiction Y vertical slice of the people where you live. Curious how did you explain to Pizza Hut? He thought that it was police? Lamau. Hey so you know when you get high you get paranoid. Well we were so high we forgot we ordered pizza and when you knocked on the door we thought someone had called the cops. Then after you left I noticed my phone had missed calls from Pizza Hut. So sorry about that. Do you guys want us to reorder or are you guys able to send out order back out? So why is this NSFW? Not safe for weed. Edit, thanks for the awards. My best friend and I ordered a pizza then started watching The Shining. We were so focused on the movie, and also we were teenage girls, that when she knocked we freaked out. I slowly poked my head around to look through the screen door and the lady was like did you order a pizza? This was back in the day when pizzas took 30 minutes to even show up. Like 10 years ago. What? Do they like show up faster now? Why my pizza takes 45 minutes? Today I fucked up by blasting my bathroom via the fruit method. As anyone who likes a coffee and a smoke in the morning will tell you, constipation is a bit of a nightmare when you're cutting down your tobacco usage. I'm no exception, and since I'm planning on taking a little while to gently reduce the amount I smoke, I decided a small amount of assistance would be in order. This month, I invested in a significant quantity of prune juice. A warrior's drink in my opinion. In fact, I discovered I liked it so much that, before I knew it, I had consumed an entire liter carton of the stuff. Unperturbed, I thought little of it and settled down to get what little work done I could. No less than half an hour passed before unholy noises began emanating from my midsection. Truly terrifying sounds, such as the devil himself might make were he to pass through a meat grinder. So begins my newfound kinship with the porcelain reliable. Over an hour I spent there it would seem, and by the time I thought it were over my legs were numb and my back enraged with Woden's fury. There is nothing left but exhaustion and fear, but a welcome shower provides some restoration. But for a short while, not 20 minutes after drying and dressing and I am back, unceremoniously depanced and seated. So continues the orchestra of expulsion. By now I am a hair from weeping, 
and my hell's portal lets a fly great thunderclaps of fume in an oddly rhythmic recital. The entire works of Shakespeare might have been found in that oral delight, I will never know. This morning, almost a full 24 hours post-movement, I can still hear the sound of Beelzebub aside from below. My lesson has been learned. Too long didn't read, I am not yet fit to be a warrior. I giggled like a little girl last night when I read a post on Instagram about stool health, because it referred to pooping as evacuating. For some reason, my tiny Neanderthal mind thought why do they need to dress it up? We're talking about taking a shit, call it like it is. Thought it was the funniest thing I would read about poop for the next little while. Oh, how the turntables. Turd tables. Worf approves up drinks prune juice and proceeds to play sandstorm by drood from the anus edit why does this have a hug award if someone is in this situation definitely do not give them a hug well done my fellow star trek the next generation fan i invested in a significant quantity of prune juice a warrior's drink in my opinion are you a klingon in starfleet